So I'm here at the uh, Essenville Florectorate occurrence today. And this is my first stop in my uh, mineral collecting trip. Got a whole bunch of places planned to check out. Um, but yeah, this is just a large calcite vein that has some rare minerals in it. So I'm gonna start looking around. It looks like it's been, you know, beaten up pretty badly, but I think I can still extract some stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm also gonna probably look through the tailings because I'm sure somebody's missed a, one or two good crystals that they've just kind of tossed aside for some bigger ones. So I'm just kind of kind of look all over the place, but yeah, it's uh so the the rare mineral that I'm talking about is fluorichterite, of course, for all the uh, Ontario rock uh, rock hounds who uh, live in Ontario, they probably know about this place, and if you don't, I would recommend checking it out because it's an uh, interesting occurrence, and I I think it's worth worth checking out. But yeah, this is, it's just a road cut on the side of the road. And it goes all the way from back there to there. So it runs diagonally, basically, this way. But yeah, hopefully I find some, some something good. I'll get back to you guys if I do. And I'll show you what I find. So I decided to uh, dig closer up to the top because this spot looks a lot less touched than uh than the spot down there and i've been having some luck somebody was here before me and they left some nice uh nice pieces i guess they they had gotten enough for themselves and left the ones that they didn't like as much but yeah i'm finding uh a lot of partials and then a lot of just single crystals some of them have so this is a double terminated one very nice. And there were a couple on top of here that I found that were terminated, double terminated, so whole crystals, which is kind of what you're going for, but the best ones are the ones that are still in matrix. And then unfortunately I found this guy. I tried to pop him out. He was a bigger crystal and he broke. So depending on how many big crystals I extract and if they're whole or not, I might take this guy home and fix him. But if I find a lot, then there's no use in uh, use in um, keeping that guy. So I'm going to get back to work. And hopefully I have some nice stuff to find. But yeah, this stuff is like all over the place. You can see like here. Actually, this piece has a couple nice pieces in it. Like if you try to extract them, you might might do okay. But yeah, it's just you just kind of have to look for for what you want. But yeah, there, this stuff's all over the place. So, so it's not hard find, looking for the stuff, which is nice. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys if I find anything really cool. So I thought I'd give you guys an update. This is the stuff I've been finding. Found some pieces of matrix with, with full crystals in it, which was my goal. Some very nice ones as well. And I'm right now I'm in the process of working on this piece to try and extract this crystal hole. That's my goal for this this spot. And then if I do that, then I'll head to the next spot because I got a second spot that I want to get. But yeah, this crystal is quite big. It looks like it has a natural fracture in there already. So I got to be careful, but I think I can extract this one. But yeah, so far I'm doing pretty well. Got some nice, nice crystals, some double terminated, some ones that are just single ter terminated, but the terminations are nice and clean and the crystals are nice looking specimens. So I decided to keep them, but yeah, so far so good. Some very interesting, uh, minerals it's mainly just mica which you can actually see here i've got there's a bit of mica on this one 
and then fluorectorite at this location. But yeah, so far so good. I'll get back to you guys if I uh, find if I extract that thing properly. And that's it. See you guys later for now. So it's loose. I tried to remove it with the matrix, but this stuff just depending on where other crystals are just like will break apart and shatter but it's loose so I'm gonna see if it comes out it's not look it doesn't look like it's breaking at the point ah oh, yes look at that maybe just that yeah just a bit of damage to the back but very slightly double terminations uh, this one it looks like it didn't fully terminate when it was uh, hard uh, was solidifying or crystallizing that's what I've noticed sometimes um, like crystals will terminate but their terminations aren't like nice and clean like uh, let's see if there's an example here let's put this down carefully here this one it's a good example of a nice clean termination if you see the the top, how it's it's nice. It's got this nice angled termination. Well, this one, you can kind of see how it tried to, but then you can see how it didn't fully fully uh, form into nice straight lines. But it is fully terminated. It's just the terminations aren't the cleanest. But yeah, I am quite happy with this. I think I'm gonna actually uh, pack it up. I think I've gotten enough pieces and I'm going to head to uh, the next spot. So see you then guys. So here are all my finds from the Essenville road cut cleaned up. I've got some of my Larger, uglier chunks right in the middle. They didn't turn out as nice. Piece of mica. A bunch of points and du double terminated uh, crystals over here. Let's see if we can get it. Can I zoom in? Yep. And then I've got my biggest piece right in the middle. It's, it's about a two and a half inch long double terminated crystal. Now, doesn't look terminated, I can tell you that, because usually, let me see if I got a good, uh, this one's good. Usually, if you can see this crystal, hopefully it'll focus, come on, bud. Come on, focus. There we go. Uh, you see the top of that crystal? crystal? That's a monoclinic termination. So, the two angles pointing upwards, almost like a house. That's the easiest layman's explanation of it. Fluororectorite has a monoclinic termination. So this is what a normal crystal termination should look like. And my big piece does not have that. Now why is that? Well, this is seen in other crystals too, but this, when this crystal was forming, see if you can get a good view at the top, see how it's almost weird and bumpy and kind of like not really smooth and kind of ugly, almost like a half-melted wax candle is uh, my best explanation. So what happened is, as the crystal was forming, when it finally solidified, it hadn't fully grown the proper monoclinic termination, and so it doesn't have the, those nice sharp angles at the end. Now, any collector who, who lives in Ontario and who has collected Appetite before will know when I, what I'm talking about, because Appetite also seems to suffer from the same fate, where a lot of the Appetite crystals that you find are almost rounded at the top instead of having their nice pointed 
termination, I forget what it's called, but it does have a an actual termination, supposed to, and rarely you find ones with very nice ter terminations. I've seen a couple pictures out there on the internet of such examples, but most of the time you'll get kind of like a melted wax look where it's it's terminated, but it's not, it doesn't have any really sharp faces. Now, let's look at some of my Matrix pieces. Look at this guy. This guy, I kept because he's got nice little crystals in it. I just like those nice little crystals. This guy, it's got a nice big piece in it. If my phone could focus for a second, come on. There we go. It's a bit damaged, but I decided to take it anyways because it was just that big crystal. And yeah, there's just a whole bunch of pieces in Matrix. And one thing actually does kind of look like fluorectite is black, but it's actually a very dark green. Now let me try and get, I think the, no, there's, where's a good piece that would show you that it's green? Something, this guy, this guy's got some nice clarity. So if you look, yeah, you can see it. This guy's nice, it's got some nice clarity. You can see that it's actually a dark green if you look closely. And if the sunlight hits it properly, it's actually a dark green mineral and not a black mineral. But from far away, it looks like a black mineral, but it's actually just a very dark green. And with some of these smaller crystal points, the light goes through them a little bit more easy. And so you can see, like on the edges, you can see that it's got the dark green coloration. But yeah, these are my finds from uh, the fluorectite occurrence. I, I have to say, I think it was a quite successful trip. I found a lot of small double terminated crystals and crystal points. And a couple, uh, a decent sized double terminated crystal. And then a bunch of crystals and matrix. I will have to say, it is, you do have to put some effort at this spot. So if you're thinking of going there, make sure to bring some hammers and some sharp chisels. Because most of the stuff is embedded in the calcite. And you're going to have to work for it. But that being said, this is such a rare mineral. That even only pulling a couple pieces makes it worth it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do like the video and also think about subscribing if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys uh, next time.